Where is it located? You see it here, left inferior frontal gyrus. Now, okay, what is important about this, uh, let's say if there is a stroke, okay, that affected that. guys back to the library post up Friday mornings video that you guys saw no legs on Friday I'm gonna wait till Saturday it's a wrap. gonna take down a little burger and fries before I go to bed recharge after that epic bench day double whopper no cheese straight beef Reese's chocolate chip and cookie. Doing right. We got a mini, 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 miniature. All right guys, time to weigh in. See how we're doing Saturday leg day. Oh snap. That is intermittent fasting, but I was reminded of it today. I was just washing up, getting ready for the gym, and leg day today this is gonna be on Saturday, leg day. But um, <clears throat> that's because uh, I hit my deadlifts on Tuesday, did my pushing on Thursday, so I'm just moving it back. Tomorrow I'm gonna work out kind of easy, and Monday we'll be back at it, maybe one or two more weeks of training before I deload. But I did wait almost two or five this morning. <clears throat> which is like eight pounds up in my lightest weight in last week, but it's just weird how weight fluctuations and kind of dieting down low and then just allowing yourself to eat whatever you want to eat to gain some weight back really doesn't indicate fat gain, fat loss. So don't go by the scale, don't go by your macros too much unless you are really preparing or getting down to a super lean body fat. So I'll show you guys how I look at 205. I think I look leaner, so I just had oats and eggs. Watching some Dallas. So yeah guys, this is 205. So probably not a true 205 just because I feel as lean as I did when I was 190 whatever. But <clears throat> ate a few days in a row, got calories in, maybe put on a little bit of body fat, maybe filled up my muscle more, maybe put on muscle in a week of just being more relaxed about my eating. Who knows, don't stress out about it. I kind of was starting to stress out about it because I wasn't feeling lean at 190 in the 190s, but now I'm 205 and I'm just as lean, so. Whatever, time to squat, stay on track, eat your food, don't do anything crazy, and just stay consistent. Alright guys, what's going on? You are watching the squat sesh and leg sesh from today. Only worked up to 225 for six doubles, which was, uh, that felt really good. 
Then I went to pause squatting and my foot placement kind of got away from me. Um, and I showed you my worst set. So these are six doubles, which I think went really well. Depth was good. I was happy with my form. You're seeing the fifth one here. It's pretty much hitting parallel. Uh, I could have sunk a little more if I needed to, but not worried about it. Just going with what feels good. But what I did do today incorrectly, which is kind of unlike the way I've been squatting comfortably, is I had my stance a little wider and my toes pointed outward. I know in the past I used to um, always talk about squatting shoeless so you could see the angle of your feet better because different shoes are going to look a lot different especially with how much space you'll have inside or how much they'll like kind of move around so uh, on this set which was again the first set I filmed the three sets of 10 paws this was my worst one and you guys can just see how unstable everything is my feet were too far out and my toes were pointed to out as well so now I kind of fixed it at the end the next two sets were awesome but yeah after the three sets of three second pauses with just 155, pretty legit down sets. I did some lunges and then I did a high rep squat set, which again, got my feet placement back. I'll let you guys watch that live. It is a minute and 15 seconds, so skip it if you don't want to see this, but check it. And that was it as far as squatting goes. Um, threw in a little bit of extra back work after that. If you guys haven't done a high rep squat set like that, please try it. I know you shouldn't really match heavy weight with uh, low repetitions and super high rep stuff, but again, 225 for doubles is really just practicing the squat, not necessarily strength training, just because it's so much lighter than my max. But either way, like I said, try the high rep squats. They're brutal. They'll get your teardrop, your inner thighs, your adductors, your What's the other one? Sartorius? I don't know. You'll feel everything by the end of the set. So give it a go. That was 75 pounds for 40 reps. And of course, had to hit the calves. I'm showing you here my anterior tibialis work. I'll do three sets of 20 every workout. Today, I actually got 25 reps on the first two. And I made an Instagram post today. Follow me if you want. It's my name, Rafael Zamora, with a PH. And I talk about what I do for my calves. Um, three sets, two to three sets, two to three exercises two to three times a week, and uh, yeah, check that post out if you want to see exactly what I do. Always hit the anterior tip. I didn't specify, but if you like my Instagram put, uh, posts, I'm assuming you watch these videos, now you know. But I gotta go, pizza time.